Hello Internet, Dave here, and welcome to part 19 of my Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play on the Nintendo 3DS. We continue where we things off last time, after the defeating the Grand Trial of Oliver, Oliver V even, and now we need to fly with Charizard to the Grand Song Hotel. What are you going to do right now? Fly Charizard! Fly! Oh, lovely. You will need to hear my Pokemon from the uh, last adventure. And I've moved Flavita to the front to try and get him leveled up a little bit. Don't worry, I still have EXP share on, which will help with leveling up. We need to go this way. Past the dimensional research laboratory. And that's it. Okay. Oh, a Pikachu wedding. confused. Come at last. Ah, but forgive me, I haven't introduced myself. You may call me Baba. I told you before, I would show you some place astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a Veritable paradise of Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protection of Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises. So I'll prove to you that all I told you is the absolute truth of the tour of Aether Paradise. Will you, you will come, won't you? Um, okay. <coughs> good, good. Then you'll come with me. If the paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too. Oh, even Kahuna Oliver has come to see you off. As Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my end. They're like my own children. 
Not that I've got any. I never even got married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. You're coming too, Professor. I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether's developing and tell me about it later, yeah? Alright, I'll see you on the next island. Ulungul Island, there, yeah. Let's meet up at M Melilla Garden. Yep, it's goodbye, Akela Island. So I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? And let's just enjoy the an adventure upon the grand vessel that awaits us across the high seas. But which you mean to say, the ferry. Can <coughs> <coughs> you believe a big hunk of iron like the eighth of paradise can float in the sea? All cause of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Dave? Really? Interesting. I couldn't, I know I could count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to actually see inside the Aether Paradise myself. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't seen that much for a while. Here we are, you two. This is Eighth of Paradise. Eighth of Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. And has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs are teams working on developing new Pokeballs and more, yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Now you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within A for Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility for, to pretend, pre prevent them from functioning. Excuse me, Mr. Fubar. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of th that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, French Chief Fubar. Now, I must go speak with the President about our conservation efforts on Akira. Show these children around and take them to meet the president as well. Phew. <laughs> Welcome to Aether Paradise, David Howe. My name is Wiki. Uh, Aloha. <laughs> Wait. You know who we are? How do you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akal Island. And of course, I heard how you help protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Hal. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is above us. There's a button, push it, let's go up. <coughs> and this is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it.
Dave. You and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to come champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I took my first... The first chance I had to join in the Iron Challenge was I turned 11. Because someday I want to be able to beat my gramps, but he's way too strong. So for now, I'll just enjoy my Iron Challenge. How, how lovely for you. I suppose all children must learn to take this journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you hardly just children anymore, trainers. I like parents to the Pokemon. Dave, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? Here, Button, let's push it. Make the paradise a safe haven for a Pokemon. For the season, the reuse of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Wow. We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. And we also try to support Pokemon that need extra protection. Like Corsair, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by Pokemon called Miranda. <coughs> Hope you don't mind if I read the passage from my old Pokedex. <coughs> I travelled through Kanto before when I was young, you see. But Corsa aren't from Kanto. Corsa. In Lolo, where their natural enemies, Maria, are plentiful, many Corsa have stubbornly. stubby branches on their heads. And yeah, my gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. But why bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. I'd like you to meet President Lumsia. She should be here in the conservation area now. I think I might change who's at top. Um, yeah. As I'll say. Well, but even Pokemon I got done in by Team Skull, huh? Sidoro is a Pokemon that pretends to be a tree in order to protect itself. But wouldn't it be better to disguise itself as the kind of tree you actually see here in the Lola? Or would that make it, it seem like an executor? Oh, it's one of the, um, play Pokemon. Starmie. Another <laughs> moment, Starmie. And they're also protecting the so-called Legion of Variants. What is it in the climate and feature that is affecting the Pokemon? We're trying to determine that by testing different parameters such as local soils, water and temperature, regional variants. It can all seem a bit complicated, but think about it like this. If you visit a tropical region, you get a tan, right? Isn't that something like that? Sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah.
You must be Dave and Hal. Welcome to the Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the foundation, but please just call me Luzumi. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad that there are people like you who travel the island to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also the unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. And that is why I am here. I'll be like a mother to all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alosu region, are worthy of my love. Well, Miss Nuzumiya, I don't know how you do all this. You're like not even much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are? Wait, what? <coughs> oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know. And how your style is a bit wanting, hmm? I have to take you out sometimes and help you pick a smashing outfit. Like what you wear. I don't think anyone else would pull off that kind of look except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children. We'd all be much happier if they only listened to the adults around them. That tremor, did something happen on the lower floors? You are. Have you come from a distant world? Miss Lumia, stand back. The thing is not right. You poor creature. I told you this music. You need to switch. No, my attacks are doing anything.
Then the fire creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get back. Simia, are you okay? The Ultra Beast just now. It came from another end of an Ultra Wormhole. It is a beam from another world, a world known as Ultra Space. Huda, <coughs> <coughs> seriously, what's with the get up? These are my guests, the Ultra Recon Squad. They have been giving me, giving the Foundation advice about the Ultra Beast. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Dudes. And I'm Zoe. Ultra Wormholes? We came to a lower region from another world by passing through an Ultra Wormhole. We came from a world of darkness whose light was stolen by the one called Necrozma. See, this Necrozma is un unbelievably strong. It can wield light however it likes. And sure, it does run wild sometimes, but it also shares this mysterious light it has with others too. What? But everything will be fine. If this Necrozma, or even an Ultra Beast like this one we saw, just c should come into this world from another, the Aven Foundation will be prepared to protect the light of Alola. Rest easy, you won't need to worry about a thing. These two are still in the middle of the island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to the next island. Oh, at once, man. I'll go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. I need to speak with Mr. Fubber about exactly what happened downstairs. Maybe our experiments to open an ultra wormhole are not going as well as I hoped. <coughs> See the two of you to Akura Island then. <coughs> Never thought I actually get to see the ultra wormhole in my life. Never mind meeting people from another world. Man, that surprise it is just never stopped coming. We've got to tell Professor Burnett about this next time you see her. I'm glad you feel that way. What happened here today was a surprise to us as well. But I was very glad to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. So masala for how? <laughs> yeah, yeah, big masala is awesome. It's crazy how Masala's taste even better when you get eaten together with someone else. Yes, I think I know what you mean. And yours always taste better when you share them with others you love. And as for Dave, a TM for, for the move psychic. I hope you both have a wondrous adventure on your iron challenge. You will, thanks, Miss Wiki. This is how it's pronounced. The oh, house is still kind of racing, you know. The Ultra Wormhole is real, and the Ultra Beasts are real too. <coughs> and now this Ultra Recon Squad too. The world is way too big. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island too. I'm going to need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. You want a masala, Dave? Ah, oh, so good. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. Oh, how?
Land ahoy! Alright, tear firm underfoot again. <coughs> uh, Hood Hound is like another totally different place than Mini Mini or Upper. It's supposed to be set with the Professor Wright. What was it? Maroon Garden? Why he wants us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? We made it to our own now. And that means a new island Pokedex for you, big boy. Follow up! Ugh. First of all, I would like to heal my Pokemon. I need to do some serious leveling up. <laughs> it could be a hacked one, you know, the young one. Yeah, you can get to the knobs. You get a few more obstacles. Stuck my potions. Alright, that is where we're going to wrap things up for this part. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow all the activity on Facebook and Twitter. Until the next episode, this is Dave. More Pokemon need catching and training. <laughs>